elephant. Hello Crunchers, another Crunch here and we are playing This is the Police. Very cool, like interesting tactic management game really. Like I thought it was like an adventure game, but I guess you could call it an adventure. But you're actually the, the deputy, you're like the chief. And you are controlling all the, the police staff. And uh, you're hearing their complaints and you're sending them out for assignments. It's a really, really good game, I'm enjoying it. So all these are at home, I can call them, but then they're gonna be tired. We just finished one day, so we say go home to your family and enjoy your, your day guys. Prosper to reveal his identity when it's time. Phenomenist organized the tonight. Uh huh. Enemies using Phenomenist to destroy free bird. Alright. Whenever I'm alone at home and there's a knock at the door, I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. Hello, my name is Steve, and you're Jack Boyd, is that right? <laughs> to get to my front door, the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local bus stop, jumping over mud puddles and skirting a couple of landfills. Laura doesn't go in for religion either, but according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a minute of attention. She patiently listens to them, asks them questions, regales them with pastries, and never once dropping a hint of condescension. When I watch her do it, I've got to admit it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them on the porch and lit up a cigar. But a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Today I'm a little rougher still. Shut the door in his nose this time. Another couple weeks at this rate and I'll be greeting anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky, ready to fire my warning shots. In my life, even the basic stuff never goes like it's supposed to. Normally, when a wife is going to leave home, she'll make a scene or at least sit everyone down for a serious conversation. But Laura just disappeared. The children in the stories always stand on the side of the mother, but all three of our sons supported me. The in-laws always blame the husband for making their daughter unhappy. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well... We sort of have a pact. The fellow Laura ran off with is young enough to be her son. I hear he's 30 years old. Of all the possible information a man can know about his wife's lover, I get hit with that. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some fun with a mature woman, but he'll be back chasing college girls before the year is out. So we have an agreement. Sally's going to track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything stupid, which of course means anything at all. It's a crazy situation. I'm the police chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife is an old woman armed with a phone book. But I can't afford to lose Sally as an ally, so for the moment I had to swallow my pride. Hello. Mrs. Markham, this is Boyd. Oh, is there any news? That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you found anything? An address? Phone number? Have you spoken to her? Don't worry, Jack. I've narrowed the range to two suspects, or whatever you like to say at your police building. At my police building, we find people faster than a funny old woman chirping on the phone with my wife's girlfriends. Oh, you're an old man, Jack. Come to your senses. They'd give us straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, Jack. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, and it gives me energy. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. And you have nothing, Jack. You don't even have a hobby. You got no passion. It's why Laura left you. Let's not go back into that, Sally. Find my wife, and we can discuss my hobbies later. I'm waiting for your call, and my patience is running thin. Laura, if you've stopped loving me, I'll let you go. I can't expect the impossible from you. Just don't let me die out here, okay? All right. It's 
my dog's birthday and I want to spend the day with her in the park. Can you let me off? No! Find a better reason. I got tickets to watch the, the filming of the TV show. I always wanted to be on TV. Yeah, but come in tomorrow. Ooh, who got stripes? Who got stripes? I thought the game said that I could give stripes. How do I give stripes? Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Asano sucks. You, you just sucks, man. Let's give Pudi and make ah, Venke. He, he did a good job last time. Oh, oh, no, but uh, 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 no, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. I want the frog. There we go. For the day. A member of the city cleaning crew saw an elderly man approach some expensive cars in the parking lot, carrying a <laughs> long iron rod. Yeah, she's probably doing something not legal. The whole street could hear him shouting, Bastard, thieves, bloodsuckers. Oh, so maybe he, they actually stole his car. Asano, not doing a better job. I'm gonna fire you soon. Send the uh, to Paki. Go. If someone commits to a serious crime and flees the scene, the case goes to your detective. Ooh. Detective jobs. The investigation of a crime scene into your witness and gather whatever information seems to be in One of your detectives will be a lead investigator of the case. You can assign additional detectives to any case who will work under the lead investigators of some boldy names. Uh, the more professional the lead investigator, the more effective the team. Uh, get a take the mole. Let's take Armstrong. What's that? Black activist Ronnie was found shot outside his home. Not cool, man. Set two. Go. Mm, love the music. Gas station surveillance camera recorded a car that is on the stolen vehicle list. That could be very dangerous. The scent tree guys. Go. Investigation has started. Detectives have interviewed witnesses, collected evidence from the scene. They are pursuing the investigation. Expect results. Okay. Eric Graham, a drunk witness. They drove by in a sedan and they shot like a machine gun. I didn't see much. They shot against the window. She's just a dancing queen And then he died for a king, a swing sweet ginger it's swing sweet ginger green Alright, keep up the good work God damn Asano This is the third case you didn't freaking solve Fire all What? A racist gang has recently made some trouble in the city we will have to fire all due to what? This is weird. What the hell? What? Where's the song? Go. Twelve cannons. 
Kaori Ramsey, mother of several children, has expressed her concern about a suspicious man wearing defocals seated on a bench beside the playground. Oh, okay. Maybe it's like one of those like bluffers that's like naked underneath the coat and expose himself. Uh, he's been watching the children for over an hour and has taken several photographs of them. How, how much time do I have? Alright, car check. Uh, wait at a safe distance for the driver to appear. Oh, we caught him. Very nice. Good job, Kochi, Pudi, Austin. Good job. That's uh, Asano, Tasupaki. Go and talk to that man at the children's playground. Better have to be some good news, Asano. Jesus. Alright. Oh my god, Asano. I'm gonna fire you. How do you fire somebody? Boy, uh, I'm opening Freebird's first martial arts club for my first exhibition. Want to hold uh, separate uh, matches where one of the, my students take on your toughest cup. <laughs> After a fight, I'll teach you man a few tricks. Somebody that will be helping out. Okay, so let's take uh, Yensei. Go ahead, kick ass. Homicide. Your second version frame, different version of what might have happened in the crime scene. Okay. Detective died during the investigation. Armstrong died? What? Don't understand. A button reports a couple of dancers started fighting over the tips, and a cat uh, fight broke out right on the scene. Sano, you, Austin, go. Button reported that a fight has broken out between. Patron and a bar bouncer. The man appeared drunk, down onto the stage, was performing, and tried to sing a duet with her. Uh, I only have two left. Let's go. I don't have any cops. At the station, everybody's out doing their job. Chief, I uh, just nailed the jab a couple of times. He was too fast for me and won on points. I don't really understand all the rules, so I, I can't keep track of points very well. But he was alright, even showed me a few tricks after the match. I got carried away a little and pulled my back. I think I can take the yeah, yeah, you can take this back. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. On the stage there's two strips going at it. It's the old ugly to a full old cat fight. <laughs> the buzzers has to sleep. Really two ways to turn the day. Both the pictures are heavily watching the fight. <laughs> Alright guys. I'm gonna take a little break here. Leave a like below, a comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in my episodes.